Hello folks and welcome to Linux for Seniors. Let me move my microphone over here. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about Ubuntu and um, some of the ways that you can uh, well decorate your Ubuntu. Um, I can uh, open up a terminal box and just give you system properties. I will let you know that I'm running this through a virtual uh, machine. So, But more importantly, I will use uh, NeoFetch to give you some of that information. Uh, this is Ubuntu 2204 LTS. Not sure about that LTS thing. It's uh, long-term support. This is the GNOME desktop. My video is going to be more than two minutes. If you uh, hit subscribe, I will have some other material for you. And um, my video library is growing. My previous uh, 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 library was over 450. So if you hit subscribe, you can go in the about section and uh, I have some extra tips for you also. Or you can watch some of my other newer videos uh, that uh, also have some intro information. I'm going to skip that today and uh, basically just go right into what we're talking about. So I'm going to open up this area here called appearance. <clears throat> Not your appearance, the appearance of the, well, your interface to Ubuntu. If you want to look at system information in a different light, then go ahead and do that. So I'm using the Wayland windowing system. Just thought I'd let you know. And now you can see the other goody stuff there. So obviously this is the 64-bit version of the GNOME Desktop 42.5. Should be the latest in Ubuntu. All right, we're going to go back and uh, I'm going to talk about... Um, appearance. So a lot of times what happens is you are, um, you know, you're having a senior moment or someone else uh, of the younger persuasion is having uh, issues remembering some things. Like, uh, what did I change this from light to dark for? Or what color was I on before I started this whole thing? May I make a suggestion to you on any settings that you're going to change on your system that you make screenshots? There is a built-in tool, but I'm also, I installed another one and I put it here. It's uh, basically a screenshot tool. So let me open up the uh, software manager. Hopefully I can find this thing rather quickly. But uh, how about if we do a search? Is that not good enough? I guess not. Uh, anyways, when I open it up, uh, you can get it from this uh, Ubuntu Software Center. So. Uh, when I get into um, the screenshot, I'll just do the about and you can go search for that application. Then as soon as you install it, you can drag it into this uh, area here. I also uh, advocate that uh, if you're going to do a lot of changes to your system, is maybe drag that in there temporarily. Settings. So let's talk about this box. Did you know you can do a ton of things in here? You know, besides the light and dark thing and the color, there's all kinds of things you can do with your system. So what I'm going to do is, you notice there's a scroll bar in here. So when I do a screenshot, I'm going to actually do this in two steps. And then I'm going to show you best practices as far as uh, trying to save those files for later. Or at least my way. How's that? There's a lot of different ways of doing things. And I make mention of that on a lot of my videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the screenshot tool. Again, there's one built in, but I kind of like this one. It's kind of nice and easy to use. I'll click the hamburger menu about screenshot. You can find this in your uh, Ubuntu software center and you can download that and install it. It's a very simple tool. So let me close that. So basically I have screen window and selection. I normally don't use this one. I use these two. Now there's very simple tools in here. The screen just means it's going to take a picture of everything except this window. So you can lay this right on top of this if you like. The show pointer, if you're interested in showing your pointer for some reason for your screenshot, then you can leave that on. I don't use the delay at all, period. So let me talk about the difference between the window and the screen. So the window just takes a picture of your active window. This is not an active window. This is the tool. This is an active window though. So it'll take a picture of only this box. No wallpapers, none of this other stuff. When you take a picture of the whole screen though, if you changed your wallpaper, let's say you changed it to uh, pictures of your uh, your kids or your pets or, or um, anything you downloaded off the internet that you wanted to make a wallpaper. And uh, that also builds into the mix of the size of the file because I'm going to show you the comparisons. 
Then I'm going to build some screenshots of different things, especially the appearance. And then we're going to do some maintenance with those files. In other words, our best practices are where to keep them and uh, possibly even rename them. So stay tuned for that. So I'm going to do a full screenshot. So this will be a large screenshot. And I'm going to take the screenshot. I get a little dialog box. I also have copy to clipboard, but I'm going to do a save. But pay attention to this. So I'm going to leave the name alone. Screenshot today's date and time. PNG. That's a type of image file. There's a thumbnail here. I'm saving mine to my desktop for a reason. I just wanted to show you that. But you can also uh, think about this. The normal default is pictures. All right. So I'm changing that to desktop. Got it so far? I'm going to take the screenshot. Now, normally this appears in the corner, but we can change that, believe it or not, to allow the screenshot to be up here if I make some changes to the system in here. Let's not deal with that at this very moment. So I'm going to leave that screenshot there. I'm going to do another one. This time I'm going to select Window. Again, I can leave it right on top of this thing. It's not going to take a picture of this. Only this box and the interior. Why is this important? You'll see why in a minute. All right, so desktop it is. It puts it down to the bottom. All right, well, I'm going to minimize this for a second, and uh, let's compare apples to apples. So let's first take a look at the screenshots. There they are. It's a full screenshot, and more importantly, it took a picture of the top of my panel bar, the icons, and everything in between. It's kind of a large screenshot, too. This one here is only the box that I took a picture of. Only the box. But I could clearly see what's in the box. That's my whole point of screenshots. I advocate never to change uh, some things that are important to you that you can't remember. And let's face it, we all have those moments. And I don't know about you, but uh, four or five months from now, am I going to remember exactly how these settings were? Probably not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the big one and keep the small one. Why is that? I'm going to show you why. So that size is one megabyte. That file size is only, drag the box, 103 kilobytes. There's a huge difference on these two. So if you're limited in space or even just wanting to keep these things, which I suggest you do, I'll talk about renaming these later. So I want to get rid of the big big one here. So maybe I'm limited on hard drive space or maybe I just don't want to deal with those things. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Now I'm going to get rid of that by throwing it in the trash. So let's keep this one and open up settings. Since I only did a screenshot of the top half and my scroll bar is, is still uh, incomplete because I'm using very, very large things here. And I think this is the largest mouse pointer that I had. Can I double check this just for a second? Yeah, it's, it's operating on the largest. So let's go back up to appearance. So I'm going to drag this down and I'm going to do another screenshot so I can get the bottom half of this box. Very simple to do. Window, take a screenshot. And where am I sending it? To the desktop or saving it there. Now I should have two images. I'll grab a hold of this guy and throw it over here. So you can clearly see the bottom half. Now let's start playing. So first of all, what I'm going to do, new position of icons, I'm going to change that from bottom to top left. What is that going to do? I'm going to take another screenshot of the same thing as an example. I'm going to send it back to my desktop. Now it appears over here instead of down here. Does that make sense? So all I did was change that. So I don't really need that screenshot because I already have these other two. So let's drag this to the top and start playing. You click dark themes, right? Maybe you like that. Maybe you don't. And uh, we'll go back in here. Maybe you are wanting to change some colors. Maybe you like green. Maybe you like red. Maybe you like purple. There's a lot of things you can do here. So let's take a look at our file manager. It's now purple. It's uh, now green. It's now blue. You get the idea? Okay. Now, if you've seen any of my videos from the past, you know I have a special trick for resizing icons. I'm using it right now. So I get it to the size I kind of want. 
I'm using the, I'm holding the control key on my keyboard and scrolling up and down using my computer mouse. So I, I could hit the hamburger menu and do the, well, actually not here, I'm sorry, here. The plus or minus. You notice that I had to click on a, an extra key here. So I think you'll find that resizing these on the fly come in handy, especially when you're dealing with thumbnails, right? Okay. So I've made some changes. I can continue this process and uh, icon sizes and all kinds of stuff. You see the, the icon sizes change in here? All right. So basically I made a mess of things. Not really, but more importantly, I'm going to restore everything that, to back to default because I met, made a mess of things. I don't like it. I want to go back to my original settings. Unless you've got a really good memory or one of the experiments, because you've got a lot of options in some of this stuff. So let me open up one of these. Let's start at the top. Of course, I can see the bottom here. So let's look at the bottom. Oh, I had a 48 on this one. So let's crank that up to 48. It's actually where the pointer is. Did I make any other changes? Let's compare apples to apples. Well, let's see. Primary display, uh, left. Let's scroll down a little bit. And uh, I didn't make any changes there, so let's click at the, oh, I, this one here, positions of icons. I'm going to go from here to, uh, what does that say? Bottom right. So bottom right it is. Did I change the icon, icon thing to, from whatever? No, I'm back to normal. However, I can still see this, on a, but I could go to the other screenshot if I wanted to. But I think I pretty much covered this. So let's scroll to the top. And... Um, what is the theme? It's light and it has this bullet mark on it. Now everything should be exactly the way I started from. So let's look at the file manager. Let's reassize those icons to something larger. Close that. So you can do this all day long. But uh, this might not be hard to remember, but on the other end, it's a good idea to have screenshots of stuff. Now I'm gonna close that and go to something different. So um, that's self-explanatory, but let me find something with numbers on it. Uh, maybe this power window or something else. Maybe it was your screen resolution. Let's find something else. Maybe it's the accessibility uh, menu. You know, a large text thing, large cursor size thing, small cursor size thing. Let's do a picture of that one. Accessibility menu. High contrast. Get the idea. All right. Screenshot tool time. So since I don't have um, a lot of information in here, or do I? One screenshot or two? Let's do two. Start with the top. Scroll bar at the top. Grab a hold of that thing. Let's do a window screenshot. Now, where's this gonna go? If I restored my original settings, that is gonna go underneath here. So I'm gonna change that up on my next screenshot. I'm gonna drag that up. I don't like that. I wanna change it. But I still gonna keep my original one, right? So I'm gonna change that to uh, position as of new ones on top left. And uh, we go back to accessibility options. And uh, let's take a look at our screenshots. They're all jumbled. And uh, yes, this is the accessibility one. I'll show you how to do a little bit of more. Um, how do I put this organization in a couple of minutes here? So I did the first screenshot on the top and I'll do another one on the bottom. So another screenshot it is and window. And this time, since I actually altered the setting, I'm going to place the icon here. Okay, so save. There's the icon. Now I don't have to go very far to go grab it. So anytime you're making changes to your system, I advocate that you do screenshots. So, so the thumbnails are not built yet. So let's uh, grab a hold of your file manager. Let's pull it over to the side and let's decide where we want these guys. Do you want them in your documents folder, music, templates, or do you want to make another folder for screenshots? I'm going to stick mine in documents. It's empty. I'm going to create a new folder. I can call it X or Z, but I'm going to call it screenshots because that's what they are. Okay, doke. Now I'm going to open that folder. 
And I'm going to uh, show you some nifty little tricks to moving files. So first I'm going to click and drag first. That's one. Then I'm going to drag a box around these three and grab a hold of them and throw them in here, all three at the same time. Okay, there are many ways of doing this. I could have right clicked on them, or I could have clicked and held and clicked, 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 and then did a copy and paste. But I just did it as a drag and drop. So let's take a look at these. I'm going to blow them up a little bit. And uh, we can open these and, and look at them, right? So now it's time to decide, do I want to rename these things? Probably a good idea. So where do we want to start? I'm only going to do a couple. I'm not going to do everything in here, okay? So I've got four of these. And why, are, why, are, why is this a good thing to have? Well, first of all, they're very small. Uh, I'm going to hit properties. They're very small. They don't take up a lot of space on your hard drive. But it's always a good idea to have these things because unless you've got really good memory, it's always a good idea to make screenshots of everything you change on the system in case you need to revert back. So let's see what this one is. This one is accessibility. So let's just call it that. Rename. Spelling doesn't even count here. How about if we use today's date? Today's date is the 23rd. And uh, I have some also for my previous video, subscribe to Linux for Seniors. Good advice. And I am going to use today's date. So 2-23-23. That's an interesting combination. Accessibility or whatever name you want to give it. Rename. Now I know that's accessibility and more importantly when I click it, I can see, well, this is the bottom half of the screenshot. So we can call that, if you want to call it part one or just leave it accessibility and then let's find the other one. Is that the same thing? It is. So we could um, technically rename that um, and just borrow the name. Little other hidden trick for you. Right click, copy. And then we'll click out, right click, rename, paste, except I'm going to call this part two or part one. Just some tips and tricks for you. Put a dash in there if you like, whatever, rename. Now I've got two of these, part one, and we obviously know this is part two. So the next one here would be um, appearance. You can call it theme. How about if we use the word theme? Just a simple name. Today's date, 2-2-3. Put whatever you want to on these things. Something that makes sense to you. I'm not going to rename that one. You get the idea. And again, don't forget, you can resize these things. You can also do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, That's all up to you. You can also sort these differently. But more importantly, when you're making system changes to your, um, your stuff, it's always a good idea to make screenshots just in case you need to revert back to what you started with. Don't have to make screenshots. Maybe you got a good memory. But more importantly, when you're dealing with something like that, possibly there's a lot of combinations in here in all of these boxes. Okay, so if, if you're doing experiments, you want to know what these things do and you're trying them out, do a screenshot and then play with it. And then if it doesn't work for you, then go back to the to the uh, the setting. Unless you've got a good memory, don't have to use the screenshot tool at all if you don't want to. I'm just advocating it's a it's a nice tool to have. And it's nice to be able to refer back a week from now, two weeks from now, three weeks from now. Doesn't matter if I open it here or here. And go back to my screenshot folder and go take a look at these things. I forgot what uh, accessibility I used, part one. Oh yeah, okay, so that was uh, this larger cursor size. I didn't have large text on, maybe that's why my text is too big or too small, or how did I do the large text, blah, blah, blah. Same thing with the icon theme. What was the original settings? Here they are. All the positions and all the position of your panel bar in case you started to play. Uh, sorry, your icon size. There's a lot of things in here. There's a lot of things in there. You don't like that anymore? Remove it from your favorites. Is it gone? No, it's still in here. So this tool here, screenshot, can be found in your software store. 
and let's go look for it. I'm going to highlight that name and close that box. Close that box. Let's go look for it. There it is right here. It says installed. This is what it looks like. So it's just called screenshot for now. It'll have an install key for you. You can use the screenshot tool also in the system. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I think you would probably prefer this, but maybe you don't. So if I type in S C R E, there is take a screenshot here. It looks like that. Okay. It's a little difficult to use, but more importantly, you can. It also has options, selection screen and window. Sends it to your clipboard and uh, more importantly, you can go find it in your clipboard. That's why I prefer this little tool here. It's nice and convenient and it tells me the boxes and I can position this anywhere on my screen. And more importantly, this has also the selection here in case you start want to use that also for whatever purpose. So one more time, it's called screenshot. Don't have to make screenshots. I'm just saying it's a, it's a good habit to get into if you're changing system settings on any distribution, Linux distribution. Hopefully you have subscribed. Thank you for watching uh, Linux for Seniors.